Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 5th. So yeah, around this would be like the full moon eclipse. So right around the 5th, what do we have? What do we have for a message? I guess we'll go with these, huh? Ten of Wands reversed. <laughs> Nine of Wands reversed. Eight of Swords. Looks like the King of Cups. Could be the Knight of Cups. Three of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Swords. So, this is an offer of love. This may be the Knight of Cups. I think it probably is. This is the Knight of Cups. We got somebody here that is worried very, 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 very worried. You know, very worried about what's going to happen. Ready to protect themselves. Feels the need to protect themselves. We definitely have somebody here that is extremely tired, exhausted. Um, huh. This is overwhelmed. Extremely overwhelmed with the Ten of Swords reversed. But I mean, Ten of Wands reversed, but the Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change, letting something go. We have a third party situation here, or there's parting ways from friends. This is letting something go, and this is friends. This party is over, there's nothing to celebrate. This is no fun. Um, a termination of some sort, lack of emotional growth. Somebody is. Making a conscious change of some sort. Nine of Wands reversed. You know, uh, this is challenge. Avoiding challenge. Great personal fear. Definitely overwhelmed with the Nine and Ten of Wands. Extremely overwhelmed with the Nine of Swords extremely overwhelmed over a friendship or needing to depart from a friend or to let go of a friend or let go of a third party. This is somebody that is, is feeling the challenge, having a hard time. There's hard feelings. They're avoiding challenge. Now, uh, refusing to compromise. We could have an individual here that is burned out that wants their own way and is refusing to budge, is very disagreeable, has a lot of a pride, prides themselves on winning battles, is very resistant, resistant to change, resistant to let go of their friends, resistant to let go of the third party. Uh, now the Three of Cups reverse could be friends but not really. It's enemies disguised as friends or a friend that isn't really your friend. Now this this is uh, deception. Uh, Seven of Swords is deception, betrayal. So we have at least one individual here that is very, very worried about being deceived. Extremely worried, Ex you know, and, and extremely, extremely worried. It's like they're receiving an offer of love from somebody that they don't trust. There's mistrust here. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. The lack of trust. A change is definitely needed. Somebody needs 
You know, you need to be gentle with this person, the person that doesn't trust. They don't trust because they have been hurt. You see, they fought in a lot of battles in the past, and that's why they don't trust. So there, it's like, you know, this is overwhelming. There's overwhelming fear here. There is this overwhelming fear of... Um, being deceived again, being cheated again. So there's uh, being betrayed. So yeah, there's overwhelming fear. We have an individual who has fought, uh, uh, has had a hard life, a very hard life. And they fought in a lot of battles. You see, these are all their weapons they've used. They feel the need to protect themselves because of their previous hurts. But there's, there's like romance. There's because of these flowers and this cup. It's a cup of love that we got an individual that wants to, uh, be a part, wants to help this person, wants to be trusted, is offering love. So there's, 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 that's what we got here. Um, but expect, but the person that is being offered the love is expecting trouble. Is expecting trouble, is expecting to be involved in a third party, and you know, is expecting to be cheated, is very worried about being deceived, and perhaps that's why you know, they're, they're guarded or the, what is this? Knight of Pentacles. So this is, this is, uh, stable hard worker, somebody that is, has a lot of common sense, trying to play it safe. We have an individual here that just wants to play it safe. Very domestic, very responsible, has a lot to offer. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is stable, has has worked hard to build a new foundation or has worked hard to um, gain security and is continuing to do so. So we have this individual over here that is uh, very, I mean, he has a lot of common sense, is all about practical, being practical. Now this person does not want to engage in any third party or uh, gossip. There may have been some gossip or some something going on here. There was, I mean, with that Three of Cups reverse, that's a lack of emotion. It is overwhelmed, overwhelmed with fear, expecting somebody to cheat, expecting uh, trouble. We you have one individual that is 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 very worried about stability. This person, the person that is worried, is stable, is solid, is secure, has a lot to offer, has built themselves up, has worked hard. Had, this is a hard worker. Needing needs to go slow. This person needs to go slow. Isn't hurry, 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 hurry. This is somebody that is very practical. This is the page of pentacles. So this must be the page of cups. This is an admirer. I've had this deck for a long time. I just found it the other day. This is an admirer. This is somebody offering love, a secret admirer, or it doesn't have to be. This is somebody who may be love struck. They're sending messages of love or they're interested. showing their feelings. This is somebody expressing their feelings to a person that has been very scared. This person has been alone for a while as well. I feel like alone, alone. This person has been alone and now there's a new opportunity here. A new foundation, a new enterprise, a new option. But you notice both of these are looking at the seven of swords. This is, they, you know, there's, a, there's somebody that is expressing their feelings, but is there deception, right? The seven of swords, is this a lie? This person is very practical, has a lot of common sense.
very hard worker over here, somebody that is very real and genuine and puts in a lot of effort, but there's some sort of deception, cheating, lying. You know, that somebody could be stealing, wanting to, because this is somebody who has is such a hard worker. I mean, they've built themselves up. They probably have a little bit of money. This is thieving, stealing. So we could have a thief here. You know, this person is very worried about being stolen from, cheated. We got something going on here. Two of Cups. Partnership. This has to do with a partnership. It has to do with love. It has to do with a union. I think there is two people that are working on a partnership. One of these people is extremely worried about being cheated on. They are deceived or stolen from. We got setting goals here, being practical, using common sense, being realistic, following through, even though it's not easy. This is going to be work. It's going to be work for this union to progress because there's a lot of fears here. There's a lot of fears of deception, but there is a partnership. There's a new doorway that is opening, but it's not going to be easy. This is not easy. There's a lot of fear over third party, friends, friends needing parting ways. Okay, the three of cups reverse is parting ways with a friend. It's going to be a challenge. Somebody is experiencing some, some challenges over letting go of the third party. You know, trust is big. Trust is big here. Um, we have a lover that is wanting to offer love, but there's some sort of, I mean, the seven of swords is typically lies. Page of wands reversed. Uh, that is something that's not following through. This is a negative Nelly. It's a Debbie, Debbie Downer. This is bad news. Um, somebody is may not be who they say they are. They really don't have any follow through. They lack ambition. They lack drive. Unreliable. Makes excuses. This is a procrastinator. I feel like we have an individual that is offering their, you know, they have feelings, they're expressing their feelings, but they really don't have a lot of follow through. In order for this to work, somebody is going to have to put in a lot of effort. We have an individual that gives up. They give up easily. They don't have a lot of ambition. They probably have a big heart. But they don't have a lot of ambition or a lot of passion or they may have a low sex drive or they're not very adventurous. Um, there's something with this seven of swords here. Very, very worried, extremely worried, exhausted, tired, protective, alone. We have somebody here that is lonely, very fearful of being deceived, no doubt about it. Very, very worried about being deceived. But there's a new offer of love that could lead to a union if, if you don't give up, if you put in effort and trust. But trust is an issue here, so there's a lack of trust. Now, there could be some hard feelings we could have somebody here that is angry with the world with the nine of wands reversed. Angry about, you know, everything that has ha happened to them. And you need to be gentle. We have an individual that needs gentleness, that needs um, kindness per se. 
needs something real, needs something slow too. Moving too fast will, will scare this person. This is slow. This is the page, the Knight of Cups reversed. So, you know, there could be somebody that comes in to sweep somebody off their feet and they don't have the best of intentions. Maybe they're just after the money. Maybe, you know, with this with this Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. The, the, the Knight of Cups reversed is, is somebody that doesn't really, isn't really emotionally available. Okay, this person really doesn't have a lot of love to offer. They may not know what love is. Notice the man is covered up now. So this is... Um, secretive. We may have a secretive individual that is presenting themselves to be a lover, but they're not truly a lover. There's some sort of betrayal or secret or lie. Somebody's lying. And they may be lying about a third party. But this is about a partnership. Somebody may be, may be getting engaged with a person that is not very well suited for them. That's, this, is not a, this is a suitor that is not well suited for them. This person may be a little bit younger, maybe, you know, a little bit younger in age. I think we have an individual over here that is angry with life. They're angry with life. They're angry with, with their past. They're angry with um, their past experiences. And maybe they've grown cold emotionally. And now they just want stability. They just want stability. They want security. And therefore, they may have found... They're headed towards somebody to unite with that you know, can provide them security and stability, but the person that they are uniting with has their guard up because they've been hurt so bad in the past. So they're suspicious. They're suspicious of this person's intentions. And I think they are with good reason because whoever they're dealing with is secretive and they may be only looking for uh, the stability, you know, they may be looking for just the stability. They may not be able to take care of themselves financially or something like that. Uh, there's definitely a third party here with friends, okay, with the Three of Cups reversed that is causing a lot of uh, disharmony, per se, with the with uh, imbalance with the Ten of Wands reversed. It's, it's heavy. It's too much to hold on to. It's causing somebody to be very overwhelmed. The, th the third party is causing... And this fear, it's, it's, it's contributing to the fear, put it that way. Um, this is a person that is solid and stable and a hard worker that has worked hard to obtain security. And it looks like they're looking at somebody that doesn't have really good intentions, really doesn't have anything to offer. You notice that cup is empty, it's upside down, you can't fight gravity. If there's nothing to offer, if there's nothing in it, there's nothing in it. You know, if you can't offer anything, you can't offer anything. So we have, we have, we have, uh, problem um i think it's a one-sided situation i think we have an it, we have a, a one person that um is being deceived by another individual who is um lonely perhaps this person is lonely and uh maybe even troubled you know maybe even troubled over their past and and they're looking for some sort of security at this point i don't you know, the Page of Cups is offering love, but, but the Page of Wands reversed is no follow-through. Uh, Debbie Downer, somebody that is very negative, um, boring, procrastinates, doesn't get off the ground, doesn't really like to do, just wants to play, okay? This person just wants to play, doesn't want to take initiative in any way. Um, so this is about a union that probably isn't very well matched up. It doesn't look like it's very well matched up. I think it's a, there's no equality. 
there's no equality. You know, it's one of these people's covered up now. Who, whoever they're dealing with, they're dealing with an individual who just doesn't, you know, isn't emotionally available or they're pretending that they are. This could be like a love bomber. Somebody who love bombs you and then uh, drops you later. You know, there's nothing in there, really. There, there isn't. There's really nothing there. Um, so you're going to need to be realistic and you're going to need to be practical and um, make sure that you're not being deceived because there's some sort of deception with a self. Somebody's lying. They're lying about their intentions. They're, they are. And they're looking at something stable. They're looking at the, you know... A new enterprise with the seven of swords to the page of pentacles to the knight of pentacles we have an individual here that is very sneaky okay and they're looking at something you know they're looking at potential they're looking at something that could be potentially solid and stable where there's financial security okay but it doesn't look, look like they have any um love okay they don't have any love to offer I mean, the Knight of Cups reversed. There's, there's, it's not real. There's no real love here. Okay. Um, King of Swords reversed. This person is selfish. Only cares about number one. Is only looking out for number one. Is cold and withdrawn. Um, maybe verbally or mentally abusive. May um, probably doesn't speak the truth. Too often, um, a bully. It looks like we have a bully here that is is abusive, that uh, isn't really available for love, but they are presenting themselves to be. So I think that you really need to be careful. I think that the Seven of Swords does say, be careful. There's an individual here that is not very well suited, that is, is very immature as well. We have all these pages, very immature, doesn't really have a lot of emotional maturity to them, emotionally immature. This person is looking for somebody to take care of them, um, somebody that is solid and stable. Um, but this is dropping, dropping weight, dropping baggage, dropping a friendship, dropping a third party, acting with integrity, doing the right thing. You know, the Knight of Pentacles does the right thing, acts with integrity, is very loyal. But we also have an individual here that isn't very heartfelt. You know, they aren't... Um, they're not in it because of their heart they're in it because of the financial stability so it's interesting so anyway let's get one more card what do we have for around the fifth we have oh what do we have what do we have somebody that is abusive cold may shut down emotionally May, this you know we could have some bad news coming this is bad news it's not good news coming about coming from an individual or about an individual that is very selfish this person is abusive they are a bully they are not um, very loving they're not very kind they're not very gentle they're they you know um, they could even this could this could even be an emotional outburst if somebody could have an emotional outburst um, this is not good news with the Page of Wands reversed. We got an unreliable individual here that is insincere. This person is insincere. They are. One more card. What's going to happen? Mm. Ace of Swords reversed. So what is going to happen? No communication. Communication being cut off. Somebody may get cut out. They may get... Uh, there's dishonesty, a loss of power, no communication. 
communication shut down what is going to happen this king of swords this person that is mean this guy is mean is going to get shut down he is going to get shut down cut out because of dishonesty very dishonest the ace of swords losing power losing control two of swords reversed seeing clear something's going to be exposed about this person this is lies being exposed seeing the truth there's overwhelming fears and worry for a reason We have an individual that is emotionally cold and they've been projecting themselves not to be. But the truth is going to be revealed. Something is going to be said or seen that shows you who this person really is. Ace of Cups in reverse in the bottom. This is emotional shutdown. Loss of emotional content. Shutting down emotionally. Shutting down their feelings. Loss of love. I feel as though there is going... It's going to be emotional. I think there's going to be something that happens that causes a... It's almost like an emotional breakdown. Because we have a mean, cold-hearted individual here that isn't portraying themselves to be somebody that they are not. And the truth is going to come out. Probably through anger. There's going to be a, some sort of outburst or words. Something's going to be said with the King of Swords. This person is selfish. Very selfish. Mean. I, this this three of cups reversed is this party is over. It's over. There's nothing to celebrate. This is letting go. The first card is letting go. Making a conscious change to let go. To drop something. Somebody's being dropped. There's no there's no chance for reconciliation. There's no chance for reunion. This is, I feel like this is like the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is freeing yourself. It is. The Ten of Wands reverse is freeing yourself from a situation that you've probably been feeling because of that Nine of Swords. It's been plaguing you, at, you know, that this isn't, that you got to protect yourself from this situation. You've, you've been feeling it for a while. You've been feeling like... It's time to go through that new doorway. It's time to let this go. It's time to cut this out. It's time to open your eyes. It's time to wake up. It's time to see it for what it is. And I think that it's, the, it's that moment. It's that moment where something happens that pushes you over the edge and, and causes you to make that painful, stressful decision that you have been avoiding. Okay, the two of swords reversed. You've been avoiding this challenge. And I see the challenge. You've been avoiding the challenge of release. You've been avoiding the challenge of honoring your um, own common sense. I think your somebody's common sense is saying, you know, this isn't it. But you're ignoring it due to loneliness, perhaps. Um, yeah, I think that somebody's been avoiding challenge and, and, and they've been deep down, they know that they're dealing with a situation that isn't right. It's not right. So I, f I feel like we have an individual that is deciding to broaden their horizons and cut out a master manipulator, uh, liar, thief, abusive individual that really doesn't have anything to offer them. I think we got severing of ties here as well. Somebody is making a decision to go down a new path. Um, and I don't think it was an easy decision. Good luck.